Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I want to talk about how to fix uh, CO2 guns leaks and uh, this topic has been talked uh, by many people over and over again but I don't know, um, there are always some people who tried all that method out there and doesn't work and I personally do have a few tricks that you cannot really find out there so let me share that with you because I have so many guns here some of them really misbehave sometimes and they just don't work well okay anyway so here is the uh, spot that always leak the most okay this is the CO2 seal where the CO2 goes in so if you take a CO2 put it here okay uh, let me unscrew this thing okay. this is where it goes okay so same theory applies to all types of CO2 guns um, no matter is this type maybe this type okay whatever okay you put the CO2 from here okay whatever type it is the inside okay you will always see the same thing so same theory applies to everything and um, one thing to know is that prevention is better than fixing okay always so the first thing you want to do I'm going to take this mag as an example today okay so you can basically apply the same thing to all your guns any CO2 guns okay remember CO2 guns not HPA okay these things do not work on HPA so for all CO2 guns airsoft air guns whatever okay what you want to do is prevention first when you get your your uh, gun okay you want to use pell gun oil on the tip of the co2 duh like everyone knows okay so you put a tip drop of oil there and screw in the co2 and play so when you shoot all these oil will splash inside the valve and also in the uh, other internals and that will loop everything but some people say okay put a drop of uh, pelican oil there um, you know every how many shots and uh, it should like also fix up some leaks and such well that is not true for all um, like all all people because for myself I actually tried that uh, pelican oil trick and it doesn't work for some leaks so what I use is okay second method get one of these um, silicone loop okay let me show you the English side this is the loop I use and it's extremely useful do not buy the um, there's a three in one kind of version do not buy that one okay this is the pure silicone loop you can also use the airsoft type um, I don't know where mine go but anyway <laughs> the airsoft um, silicone loop this one this one is from Canadian Tire it works okay so all you do is spray into spray a lot of this into this uh, spot right here okay spray and then after that you can also spray a little bit inside the gun and um, so basically what it does is just to soak silicone oil right here and then you put it upside down like that okay upside down and let it stand for a while and so the silicone loop will soak into the seal and also form a little uh, film like layer on top okay and what it does is it it will soak into seal and some of the seal will even get swollen and uh, seal the place better so it just like let it stand there and dry up so when it's dry up all that silicone went inside soak into the seal around the seal and it will help you to seal the seal to better and if that doesn't help what I will try is do the same trick again okay spray and then take a hair dryer okay from far away and blow hot air from a distance like blow from here and blow into this space uh, this place some guns like the six hour p to the six has a mag and the mag holds the steel too same theory apply unscrew the thing okay spray a lot of silicone oil and then blow hot air in there for about 30 seconds do not keep blowing a close-up shot okay Just blow from far away you know you don't want it to heat it up that much what it does is to expand the seal okay so that the seal 
with the hot air and silicone it expands and allows the silicone oil to, to uh, soak inside and also uh, make the seal better. So that way you can fix a lot of stuff already. And if that doesn't help, okay, there's the famous uh, Teflon tape trick. And why you want to use a Teflon tape trick is because usually um, the modern the modern uh, CO2 guns model, they come with a very bad uh, low grade seal. And the seal is very soft. So when you put the CO2 inside for too long, maybe like a few days, it will even imprint the CO2's uh, bulb's head, the shape right here. Okay, it will imprint that shape into this onto the uh, seal. And so when you put a different brand CO2 with a different shape head, it will not seal completely well. And what happens is you get a slow leak. So you want to have Teflon tape. This is like the, you can buy these at hardware store in the plumbing uh, section. So buy a row of it. And then what you do is, now this is not a very good fix because you need to do it all the time though. Um, you want to put some of it a few layers, three or four layers over it and then wrap around the neck. And then after that, okay, put a little bit of oil on top, the gun oil, the uh, cow gun oil, and then you put it in here and screw it in. What it does is the Teflon tape will act as a secondary seal and seal the stuff around it. And so it, uh, even if like not the same shape, uh, slow leak, it will seal that leak and it fixed most of the problem. Now, my ultimate trick here is if that still doesn't work, what do you do? Now, spend some money, okay? Buy the um, silicone grease, okay? This is the grease that I bought from uh, Pyramid Air and it's for the um, Hill MK3 pump, the uh, PCP hand pump. So this grease is very useful. Um, it's basically a white color, very white, okay, white color grease. It's super thick and uh, because it's so thick and it's so slick, so it will stick and seal things very well. Now take one CO2 cartridge that is used, not a new one, okay, a used cartridge. And what you want to do is you want to um, put some uh, of the grease right here, a lot of grease around here, okay? And then you put the CO2 cartridge inside here and then roll around, smudge it and roll around. What you're doing is you're smudging the silicone grease around and on top of the seal. You can also take some kind of tool and spread it there, whatever you like. And after a while, these things will like, uh, the silicon grease will seal the surface. So if you have a small crack, uh, medium crack, okay, it will it will seal that crack and make the uh, CO2 work better. So for some new guns, I will say it's uh, also safe to do the uh, silicon grease trick. And once you did it once, things will work for a long time. So also. Um, you can get one of these like gamma uh, gun oil or some kind of air gun oil. Make sure that it's not for um, not the wrong oil you're using. Okay, there is the um, gun oil they can buy for firearm, and those are not good for the seals right here. It will eat into the seal and damage it. So do not use those gun oils. Okay, so use silicone lube. Uh, air guns, gun oil, pell gun oils and stuff to treat your guns properly. So when you actually do preserve the seal properly with silicone grease, it will actually last a long time and it will not leak. So if you have a leak, use these tricks. But even though if you don't have a leak, if you get a new gun, try the silicone grease and if you don't have the silicone grease, try um, oiling the that spot often make sure it's like always oiled and looped and that will make your gun run a long long time okay basically so these are my tricks and also don't forget my air um blow blowing hot air trick with the hair, hair dryer that trick actually worked a, um a, a lot for my um this gun the what bursa okay 
what happened was the plunger assembly inside here, the blowback plunger, it's kind of not working very well. And so when you keep shooting very fast on the second magazine, it have problem blowback and cycling. So what happened is I take apart the gun and there's one pin here that you need to punch out. So punch out the pin and the back piece comes off and then you can see inside the slide. And what happened is there's a green plunger piece there. Okay, what I want, what I did was put grease around it and then use a lighter um, to heat it up a little bit or use the hair dryer to blow it. And so the, um, the little plunger thing expand better. And then when I put it back, okay, it sealed much better. And now the blowback works all the way until the end. So this thing really works for some guns like that. And um, so play around and experiment yourself. I'm sure that you can fix your own gun and it's not really, really, really bad. Okay, so <laughs> it's pretty easy to do. And um, I actually fixed a lot of leaks by using these tricks. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.